Okay, so we're checking out the only game where an interaction with a civilian starts with, geez, please tell me you're giving out free drug samples. It's Drug Dealer Simulator. I'm gonna do this with the police like six feet away. Come over here, pal. That was a bad idea. Grab him, quick! Like lightning, bitch! So the last time we ended up killing everyone by mixing chemicals that you're not supposed to mix together and then getting people to ingest them because they're stupid. We killed a bunch of people, but those are rookie numbers. Since then, I have created a small legion of dealers. Although they have disappointed their parents, they have made me proud. So what we're gonna do is instead of just killing everyone by basically adding bleach to everything that they could possibly take and get addicted to, we're going to create the most addicting substance known to mankind, ruin everyone's life, and then slowly poison them all to death once we have a huge base of individuals. You do that by taking the thing that makes everyone sad, heroin, and adding it to the thing that makes everyone happy, Viagra. And I'll probably still throw some bleach in there. I also think I have a way to jack our prices up sky high without the game hating me. First though, I have to make like 30 million sales. Yes, I have a I have a substance here called Big Ween Co. Don't don't worry about that mix. Hey, sorry I missed you that last time. And there it is. Let me ask you something. You boys like cupcakes? You boys like cupcakes that cause divorce? Agatha, you had no idea what I had to go through to get you this pink drink tonight. Take this and don't ever call me again. So here's the plan. What you do is you take all your other drugs here. Turn all those on. Set the price down to one. Disable everything. Take what you plan on ruining literally every relationship in the entire planet with. Jack the price up. All right, real quick. What kind of life are we living? When there's a guy doing a deal right next to a guy doing a deal right across the street from the police. Hey kids, could you keep it down? I'm trying to ruin lives out here. Do you like my, um, do you like my container name for the Viagra? This is, this is what I do at night. Seriously, this coffee grinder has milled so much Viagra. It's the hardest coffee mill in all the land. Eddie over here is like, how much do you want? All of it, Eddie. See, it doesn't matter what really you decide to act Activate. They'll order whatever it is you keep enabled. I want to see just how far I can stretch these people into the darkness. But like I said, we must addict people to one of the greatest substances ever known to mankind. First, though, I have to pick the stuff up. Well, it's not quite what I was trying to do, but uh, yeah. Can we make this quick? Because my bag of felonies is sitting on top of your barbed wire fence half a block away. Okay, you're clear. Thank you. <laughs> Totally worked. Yoink. Hello, Amy. I need your finest baking powder, please. She's probably like, what are you baking? Depression. Ah, uh, yeah, give me all of it. Don't worry, everyone. I'm adding all this Viagra for your own good. Welcome to the most overpriced thing in the entire universe that we will use to become millionaires. I call this hand sanitizer plus. The time has come. Go, my little dealery children. Oh my God. I hope I brought enough. I like how we're doing this in the most open area you could possibly be in. Excuse me, sir. Do you need hand sanitizer? Oh, we're making America free again. <laughs> what do you mean I can't fit this much money in my backpack? There's nothing in here. Here, <laughs> just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. Are you here to watch as your wife leaves you just like your hair? Do you people have something against guys with hair? Hey, that fat f could be our way for smuggling stuff further into the US, so play nice. Hopefully he's better than KG. KG and his lackey Tom. Hello. I would like your biggest suitcase, please, because apparently my sack isn't big enough for the money anymore. Also, give me all your spray paint. Um, you're not going to check me? Hold on. <laughs> this is impossible. I've never gone past this without getting checked. What is this? What do I activate a ghost mode? Was it because of the hair comment? All right. Bye. I just need to let people know who lives here. You lying whore. Fantastic, I've made so much money that the game can't even give it to me. Always make sure to save often. I think it's because I'm heading to the nightclub. That's right, I'm 164th Italian. That means that the police have no sway over me. Tagging up, you're downtown right in front of you, police. How you feel about that? I think I did more than break the police. So, um, I learned something about the young man getting choked by the million balloons with his cursed Christmas shirt. If you look inside of this building, there he is again. Oh yeah, we're going into the nightclub. It's nudie time. Hey Keanu, I'm here to meet the boss. Ah, my good man, you have the most chins in the room. I assume you are the leader. I, I have a question. Do you have two extra cigars 
coming out of your pelvic area. Estás dentro o estás fuera? I, I gotta say, I'm really glad that I turned the subtitles on in the option screen. Could you teach me how to levitate cigars by my ball sack? Hey, where did you want me to sit? You want me to sit right here, like this? Is this okay? You're balding on top. You know, if I lean down, I can almost take a swig out of his flask. You took care of the police on the way there, but not on the way back, you titanic penis! Grab him, quick! Oh! Oh, sh That's what I get for teabagging my new employer. That sounds like my cue to save often. Not really sure when the hell my limit decided to go up to 13,000, but uh, sure. Hey, y'all ain't seen a suitcase filled with a bunch of hand sanitizer come over the wall, did you? Oh, nope, got it. This cactus was trying to get away with it. Since this hand sanitizer is going to the Italians, you've heard of the Frappuccino. This is a Sanicino. Okay, I just completed the addict five clients to your stuff all at once. Everyone just got addicted to hand sanitizer. Go, my son, and spread the addicting power of hand sanitizer. Feel like giving me my goddamn money yet? Nope. Good to see all the stuff is still just chilling out over here. Free samples. Stuff's ready. Tell me about how your penis feels afterward. <laughs> the suitcase flies so well. Hey, what's going on? I heard you guys have a suitcase for me. You want me to come back when your suitcase grows up? What the hell is this? Is this suitcase over 18? You money is in the suitcase. Thanks. I'd love it if I could get a holy Jesus Christ. I have $7,800 in my briefcase. I can fit whatever you give me. Just shove it in there. Threw a little extra Viagra in this set. So I'm calling this one hand sanitizer plus plus. Okay, what sort of moonwalking bullshit is going on over here? The addictions are continuing. The only way I'm gonna know if it's like a different object that's addicting them is because I'm putting the pluses after the more Viagra ones. The more Viagra I put in, the more pluses I'm gonna start a stacking on there. This bee has seen some things. Some things that no bees should ever see. I legitimately never thought I would go through this much Viagra in my whole life. When your dealer and your dealer are in the exact same children's playground together, that's when you know the entire neighborhood has gone to hell. Okay, that, that wasn't from the hand sanitizer. That scream, mine doesn't do that. It just gives you an enormous wiener. Ah, more addiction. I think that was one of my dealers. God, even the dealers are getting addicted to it. No way, you seriously couldn't meet me on this side of the wall? Wearing sunglasses at night, huh? That's metal. I would like to go on the other side of the wall, please. That moment when you run out of space for all of your money. Hey, Jamie, I really don't know how to put this, but um, I need more Viagra already. Yeah, don't ask me what I'm doing with it. Yeah, give me, give me all 10 boxes. I love the smell of fresh Viagra in the morning. All right, here you go. Can I have my friggin' big boy suitcase this time? Is that briefcase old enough to drink? Because it looks smaller than the other one. I just noticed this says US dollars. We've got like a suitcase collection going on over here. Yay, social security is in. The addictions continue. Okay, I like what you guys are doing here. You're using a little dirt mound to break eye contact. That's good. You still probably shouldn't stand in the same goddamn place waiting for this deal. You see nothing. I love this neighborhood because briefcases sitting in the middle of the street is like no big deal. I've unlocked so much stuff now, I think it's time to get a new place of business. I don't even know what to do with all this money anymore. Honestly, with the price of Viagra these days, these people are probably getting a steal. Okay, I would like your finest hand sanitizer creating sweatshop house, please. I can have the warehouse right next to the cursed cat image sold. I like to begin my morning as all people do by milling up around 50 grams of Viagra in my coffee miller. Okay, the triple plus one that I'm doing right now is probably going to end up getting people killed. But considering the amount of Viagra I'm putting in this one, they'll die happy. Yeah, I know this stuff is pretty hard to get. Here you go. Here's a free sample. I think we're going on like day five that Leon has just been standing here in the basketball court because he's unable to give me the money. Hey. Where'd you get them sunglasses from? You beat the hell out of Kenji's boy, Tom. Dude's like, no, man, I got them from the same dollar store he did. <laughs> That's right, call me Spider-Man. I'm here with your order. Just FYI, in case anyone forgot. Karma's a whore. <laughs> Could you walk a little bit faster? I got someone waiting at the end of the street. That moment when you have more Viagra than you have sugar in your house. This is a problem.
How come you ain't gotta go home during police hours? Amy's like, I don't wear shoes, I do what I want. About time, Jamie. Jesus Christ, how am I supposed to run a successful business when you ain't got Viagra but once every couple of days? Got a brand new mix I'm making for uh, Joey Pizziola, whatever his name was. I'm calling this one Freedom. Poor Arnold, he's been waiting outside for like the last six hours for this. He's like, I'll wait all day for hand sanitizer. See what hand sanitizer does to you? Look at this guy. Suit, vest, tie. Living in a tent. Hey, what's going on, Gustavo? How's the briefcase harvest this year? Eh, still pretty limp, huh? Gustavo, man, this briefcase says Fisher Price in it. What the hell? I like to keep my briefcase full of money next to the briefcase full of money, which is next to the briefcase full of money. Ah, hand sanitizer triple plus is starting to do its thing. Hasn't even killed anyone yet. Adrian's still out here in his tent. Hey, Leon. Juliet Nutwacker got addicted to hand sanitizer triple plus. I'm sure if I leave this here, no one will take it. This is the biggest brain technique using the random shipping. Con oh, sh I like how it says there's a person here to sell to when in fact all there is is this cactus. Oh, here you are. I'm really glad to see that the police station was keeping my suitcase safe. <laughs> this is the furniture shop that I'm going to use to outfit my new warehouse. Sir, your beds have leprosy on them. Uh, yeah, give me one of those, one of these. Kick-ass bed, kick-ass sofa. Give me the biggest table you got. I need it for arts and crafts. Do you have anything illegal on you? Hello, good sir. No, absolutely not. Just this briefcase with $16,000 in it. Nothing suspicious and or illegal. How you doing there, Timmy? Still choking. That's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can almost glitch this into the window. Perfect. Now I don't have to worry about the police seeing me doing stuff in here. Look at this. Looks like a place that you'd almost not get rabies in. There's even a place to save. Mr. Coco, I'm not gonna lie. Every time we do this down here, I always feel like I'm gonna get kidnapped. You're, um... You're not the same guy that was chilling outside this tent. Did you... Did you kill that man? and take his tent from him. He's like, hell yeah, I did. This shirt underneath my jacket used to be white. Hey, Leo. He's like, I wanna go home. At this point, I've got like 40K sitting inside of briefcases inside of my house. I gotta launder all this money. I just realized there's a book of biology on our shelf inside of our house. We got everyone addicted to hand sanitizer and we made a ton of money. I'm gonna go shower the filth of not killing anyone off inside of this shower with no shower curtain or anything in it. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Demonetization Simulator. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.